guys welcome back to another review of love and marriage huntsville yes we are late but it don't matter because this is slow anyway so yeah it'd be boring so let's go ahead and get into we it keeps it real Kim folks, welcome back to another video of Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Dub. This is my lovely wife. Courtney also known as Coco. This right here is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationship reviews, entertainment, and our famous rants. And tonight we're gonna be talking about Love and Magic Huntsville. I forgot the show. It was so, it's okay. It was so boring. <laughs> I forgot the show. Yeah. Love and Magic Huntsville. So if you're brand new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And we got something new that we're going to add to the channel. But we got to wait until we hit 20,000 subscribers before we announce it to you I, to you guys. We've already announced it to our exclusive community in our Patreon. And so, yeah, we talk about it a little bit on Friday as well. Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. And um, some things on how it's going to work, how it's going to be mapped out, how it's going to look, and all that stuff. So we're excited. You excited about it, baby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, but yeah, so just wanted to let y'all know to stay tuned for that. So let's just go ahead and get straight into this video. Again, we are late. We was at the beach enjoying our um us time. And so um we came back on yesterday, still a little sleepy, but we finna go and push this video well, out. Also <clears throat> allergies, you know what I'm saying? Come back from the beach. And uh come back from the beach to up here. You know, this is my ass. So my throat is kind of sore. So if I, if you hear me sound hoarse a little bit or sound kind of rough, I'm he not trying to pretend like I'm not mean. trying to be like Mel. It, it is what it is. I can't. Thank God, but I can't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, go ahead. so it's starting out with part two. So it's starting out with them just kind of discussing what Kiki got to bring up this stuff from, I don't know, how many seasons last season? I don't know. It was know. last season? I don't know, Chad. Yeah, so, it was last season. Last season was like a whole year, so now, you, who knows? You sure? <laughs> it sounded like last season was like last week. Probably, you know, they're only like, what, two, what, what, two months in between both yeah, seasons? Yeah, but what you talking about? I'm you know, talking about... They saw Randy Geller. Oh, yeah, but I'm talking about it was like a long, and they took uh, that break, and then it went back on. So, yeah, you know, they be doing too much. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, um... So Kiki want to get her frustrations out. So of course she talking. And Storm was saying well, you should have handled it like this, girl. You felt like I was in your business. You should said, girl, that's wrong. Shut the f up. Blah blah blah. And I'm saying to myself, um, Storm, do you really think that Kiki finna talk to you like that, girl? Like you look like you would just really be really drag because you just told her that. Right. But you know that really <laughs> sound good. But if it actually happened, I don't think you just gonna be like, okay, girl. You know. So anyway. Of course, Mel looking at her phone like, girl, I just shouldn't even came over here. But remember, she said, who okay, care? What they talking about that when I hear them, man? Let's go over there, girl. See, like I said last week, Mel said she came in there. She want no drama. She just, she, she, she just wanted peace. No drama but peace. And they was in separate rooms. In the room Mel and her crew was in, they was chilling. Well, you know, but Tiffany kept poking. Yeah, I don't have to get to that part. Yeah, then so when Mel heard the mention story name, oh, there's drama over there. I'm not involved. Let's go there and see what's going on. But to come to find out, the drama was about Mel. And she said, Oh, oh, okay, it's about me. Well, let me go over in this corner. Ooh. She said, Ooh, don't say my name. Yeah, so she I'm she won't do that or that home Simpson uh meme when you back up to the bush. <laughs> so when they start talking about that, you know, so Mel was like, listen, child, I, I don't need no more my name and nothing. So, <clears throat> oh, you know what, y'all? I'm no. going to get ready. No, what she did? Do it. Go ahead. What she said? No, oh, no, boy. Go ahead. Oh, I did. I was just was okay. doing it. You know what, y'all? I'm going to get ready to go on now. You know, oh, let me hug. Hug. I mean, yes, I'm going to go on go because, you know, I, 
we hey, just let that stuff go that was last time. Let's not bring none of that stuff up. So anyway, when she going in the hall, oh Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Oh Jesus, I, she's going down the hall. She put her clothes. Okay, bye, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and go. You know, stuff like that. So you know, bring, let that stuff go. Storm is like, no, we really truly really need to talk about it because you know that's why you have issues now because y'all just sweep stuff up on the rug. But if you go and get it out, let everybody decide what they're gonna say and do and talk about it. Then, okay, girl, but you know, <laughs> all right then, you know. So I'm gonna go and go and stuff. So yeah, yeah. Well, Storm, she had a good point, man. And stop trying to hide from you. Just go ahead, face the stuff head on, get it on out the way. Yeah, but to to be honest, like again, this is like three months, three to four months after they mm. actually saw each other from the reunion. So, hey, let's just keep a book. Well, that's but, what the young folks say. Let's keep it a book. Right. This show, male doing it just for the sake of the show, ain't nothing resolved. They still got issues. They still don't like each other. It is what it is. But because the people, because of y'all and us too, said, let's get back to business. Let's get back. Leave that drama alone. So just like that magic wand, honey, we got all our issues together. And so now we back to business. That's but they how don't have, the TV yeah, is. But they don't have the issues together. I'm with Stormy. No, talk, I agree. Talk your stuff out because, like you said, Mel, we haven't seen you in two months, so we still got unresolved stuff going on. So, so, so yeah, so yeah, let's get this stuff hashed out, man. Look, go ahead. Love and light, love and light. You know, so when they was tell, telling me, okay, girl, have a good night. I am. I'm like, girl, except to just have a good night. Oh, I plan to. I yeah. Plan. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, yeah. I don't know, you know, but anyway. Um, Let's go on. So Martel and Marceau are, you know, doing what is it? The baseball. I was gonna say put put dog with the baseball. You yeah. can talk about that. Basically, you know, Martel met with Maurice and you know, he was talking about, you know, he had the baseball thing. I think he said uh Big Lou, he was on the road with his team or something, so they had to go somewhere else. But anyway, so Charisse called. Sure. No, sorry, Sharice on. See, and y'all say I called him, but that's him. Sure. <laughs> Sure called him. I guess he sent him a voicemail or something. I don't know if she called him or was a text. Anyway. I thought she his phone was wrong. That's what I thought too. He's so, like, oh, that's Sheree. Yeah, so he kinda like sent him a voicemail. I was like, dang, that's kinda cold. And his facial expression like yeah, so is he really into Sheree no, like that? Let's you know be what honest, saying? no. Like this man to me has dissed us several times in oh, we on the third, yeah. third or fourth episode. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Don't claim her. Mm -mm, we didn't, you know. So mm -hmm. yeah, but when he did that, kind of like when Kimmy did yeah. the whole last week, it's yeah. like oh, yeah, that's Sheree. Right, yeah, so so that when Maurice asked, you know, is uh. You and Sheree, you know, no, he asked, uh, uh, no, he asked, uh, Martel, is you and Sheree a thing? And Martel said, We're just friends, uh, I'm still trying to figure things out, basically. He said, I couldn't tell because you were trying to do an escort service last week. He said, What you talking about? Maurice said, When you try to escort Mel to a car. And Martel said, Hey, I want to make sure Mel's okay because she is the mother of my four kids. And so they went back and forth, and then that's when my soul walked in. And they were just like talking, you know, small talk and whatnot. And uh, what else he was saying? Um, he was asking, you know, got back on Sheree, of course, because you know she's gonna be the highlight of Martell's storyline. Right. And so asked if she the one. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's is right. she the one? And, and um, Martell kind of like, uh, uh, I don't know, man. We still trying to figure each other out. So Martel has this special event coming up for Upscale Magazine. And I think it was like last year when that magazine came out. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people in the comments was kind of blasting Upscale for having Martel on the cover because they said Upscale should have more class because Martel this, Martel that. Man, Martel has probably did some therapy, got his life together and trying to move on and try to do, do, uh, try to do bigger and better things right now. Uh, so... And so they were talking about when is, is uh, Sheree, is she going to be there at the upscale? He said, yeah, she's going to be there or whatnot. So, and then, too, they asked, is, is she the one? And do is Sheree, because he want more kids. He want a lot more kids. And is Sheree going to push out them children and stuff? 
first of all, no, she's not. Her children are grown. She probably got some grandchildren up in the mix. Oh, and Sheree. Sheree has got to be close. I don't know for sure, but I think she's older than me, so she may be close to 50. Uh, Martell, like 40. Yeah, like this. It's a big 41. gap between yeah. the two. You know, whether it's 10 years or within 10 years or something like that. So, no, yeah, sure, sure, don't work on that body, mm. honey. You think she's gonna nah, push out some children? Let's nah. be for real. This is just no a storyline. Story line. Line. Yeah, because I didn't even say the last when they first came out. I said, man, when you had Carlos involved, like Carlos said, oh, yeah, I just introduced them to one another. Come on, man. He didn't say that. What you say? He didn't say he introduced them. They just said they met through a mutual and friend. I, I assume it was yeah, Carlos. Yeah, right? yeah, I assume it was Carlos. That. And uh, and Carlos be in between them now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So uh, I said, man, this is for like keep the show relevant when they're not filming. You know what I'm saying? Like, now it's giving Martell a storyline. So yeah, man. And Carlos, now he's going to be on Atlanta Housewives. So yeah. So that's the thing. It was. I know I said it like a couple of seasons ago when Martell and Mel broke up. It's ironic is that Martell seems like he's on the upward, 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 uh, you know, direction dealing with his life right now. You know, he, you know, he's on the magazine covers. Uh, he got the books out. He's gonna be on uh, Love and Marriage, not Love and Marriage, but Atlanta Housewives. Uh, now him and Carlos doing a book tour together. You know, Book tour. No, well, some kind of tour they're doing. They yeah. probably talking about him being on um, Housewives. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, they they doing little interviews together. That's what I'm going to say. Well, but they still got that live court case and all that stuff that's going on. Um, what live court case? Uh, the stuff that is talking on social media is oh. about the court case and stuff. But anyway, so in the next scene, you got Gino that's now a part of the show, I guess, honey, because he didn't took the t shirt set, seat, or desk, or whatever uh, Marceau then space. gave it. Yeah. yeah. And so they talking about business. You can talk about business. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you talk about the man stuff. Basically, what Gina was telling Martel, I know Martel, basically what Gina was telling Marceau is that, you know, he feels like Tisha is part of the team. Uh, and, you know, you can't be kind of, you got to give her the good and the bad. Yeah. Because if you continue to feed her the good, and when the bad do hit, she's, she's not, she's, she's not going to know how to operate. Right. And Gino basically saying, you got to raise wolves, not sheep. Because you're trying to be overprotected and you know, protect her from all the bad stuff. When the bad stuff do hit, she's going to be weak. She's going to crush. She's going to crumble under the pressure because she haven't been exposed to the bad. Mm -hmm. So you got to give her the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. So Marceau started thinking, like, man, you know, I didn't know that, man. All I'm trying to do, I get what Marceau was trying to say. All I'm trying to do is be a, a husband and a protector. Yeah. So I don't want to expose. I don't want to expose my wife to the neg negative part of business. Right. I don't. I don't want to expose my wife to the bad side of business. So I'm trying to shield her from all of that and just show tell her the good stuff. Right. And you know, said man, that's the wrong way to do it. And he feels like you know, yes, Tisha should be part of the team. Yep. You yep. know, it it will benefit them for her to be a part of it. And, you know, and for the longest, Marceau was trying to keep Tisha in the dark when it comes to the business. He tried to keep her in the dark. Now, it's a trip that he didn't want to hear from Dr. Francis. Nor his daddy. Or his dad. He didn't want to hear advice, even though they weren't talking about this. Right. But when Gino comes out and spit facts, now he wants to sit back and listen he to it. He must got much respect for him. Right. Um, but, yeah, also Gino, Gino was saying that, you know, he wished that him and his wife ex-wife mm -hmm. and, and ex-wife ex -wife yeah. now but at that time mm -hmm. he wish him and his wife were more partners you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying um because nowadays people just not doing a lot of gender roles you right know? I mean, that's another thing that kind of hit my soul the wrong way because my soul is so male chauvinist now when gino said no man you gotta get rid of that old mindset man because women now they can do your job mm -hmm. so you got to show them that respect you know this a woman can do this, a man can do that. No, man, especially when it comes to business, man. You know, women got their own business, they run their own companies. So you got you got to kind of open your mind. And Marcel, said, man, now my old 1950 ways, man. <laughs> God, he's still thinking like he's back in the 1950s, man. Oh man, I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I'm melting, I'm melting. Because <laughs> his mind was melting, because Gino 
was basically spinning facts. Yeah. So in the next scene, Kimmy mm -hmm. and um, Tisha are together in this scene. So Tisha dropped by. It looked like Kimmy is at her office. And so, um, because we know that Marceau put her out, Marceau put her out. And so now she got to hunt around town to see who going to let her have some office space. So Kim was like, well, you can have uh, Maurice over there because he was doing a podcast, that area he had for his podcast, evidently he's not doing right now. So you can use that over there. I wonder what kind of podcast he was doing. Oh no, he didn't tell us. Um, so anyway, um, so they sitting down and they talking, they in the office and stuff. There was a at the door. I said, Oh Lord, here come production putting their little big toe and stuff. Here they come, honey, finna stir with the big toe. So knock, knock, knock. <clears throat> hey girl. I guess she got her voice back. I'm sure this is a while later. Um, but hey girl. No, Ooh, that's probably the next day. I got some food, girl. I bought some food. Mail oh, went home to some halls. <laughs> <laughs> you know I like to eat, girl. What you got? Oh, I got some chicken salad. So they excited about the food, honey. It was a praise at the uh, at the door with the food. So when they came in, Tisha was right there, and I didn't see nobody kind of making no turns or you know weird faces or nothing like that. So you know it didn't look like the energy shifted, but it seems as though Kimmy want to sit down and want to talk about you know um um what is it? She want them to sit down. Oh yeah, so she want them to kind of get together, but in a confessional. You know, um, Mel had through a little dig and she said, yeah, four months ago with Tisha, honey, I had a dog soul, honey. I was evil, but now you want to sit down and talk about some business and stuff. I said, well, yeah, she did. She said mm -hmm. that. Yes, you sure enough did. But of course, this is what? Production. And of course, what? Y'all is co-workers. So, honey, y'all could fall out one minute, but y'all got to work together, honey, get these reports together because that's what the boss said. If you want to keep your job. So that's what you got to do in the corporate America. So this is what y'all doing. Who's so. the boss? Carlos. So yeah, the you boss. You sure? No, I don't think he's the boss. Who the boss been on? Yeah, you know who the boss is. He's, he's scared of him. He got to report to. Who? I don't know. Who's the boss? They out there. Oh, the Melamedas. Yeah, they the boss. Oh, oh okay. What? what you, okay. Yeah, Mel, yeah, you are the best man. And Carlos, them Melamedas. Got Carlos scared straight. He got him shook. You know what I'm saying? Shooking like a, I, that's right, shooking. I ain't say shake. They got him shooking. God, he like, oh. That's why the, the, the special episode they had, they did nothing but praise Mel. Hmm. Well, I done heard some stuff about them, them uh, Melamedas child. Ooh, child. The streets have been talking. Funny. Who's there at the door? Five FBI. So yes, and but anyway, so um, Mel said that she wants to do a communication like uh, an event, like a communication thing and stuff, so that they can learn how to communicate better. All of them can and stuff like that. Of course, they think it's a great idea. Tisha wants them to um to be a part of her Black Expo that her and Marceau are doing. Oh yes, yeah, one for idea, you know all that stuff, whatever. So anyway, of course they're trying to what they said um get along to get along. What is it? Anyway, they love saying, honey, they just trying to get along. So let's move on to Tisha and Marceau. So they are talking about the upcoming event and the Black Expo. And then um, Marceau shares with Tisha what Gino, what he learned from Gino. Yeah, basically Marceau was telling T that, you know, hey, basically, you know, I thought I was doing the right thing. But uh, Gino probably made some good points about, yeah, I need to raise wolves, not sheep. And, you know, basically, you know, I got to look at you as an equal. And T, and she's like, oh, I'm so happy that you finally came around to it because I, I, I thought you'd never come around to start thinking that, thinking that way. He said, yeah, basically, you know, I got to do better. I got to change my mindset. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to be a better person. We're going to be a better couple. Uh, you know, I want you to get better. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm hopefully... What Marceau is telling T, hopefully, hopefully he's meaning what he's saying, but only time will tell. Only time. 
So in the next scene, you got the original six coming back together. Y'all know the, the comeback group. The OG six. So y'all been wanting back to business. Y'all been wanting back to business. Stop all this fussing and fight. Back to business. It don't matter if y'all were just fussing three months ago and about to tear each other head up or whatever. It don't matter. Let's get back to business. That's Set how, your emotions aside. That's what that's what corporate USA is all about. You can tell each other and call each other all kinds of names, but when you get in that boardroom. It's all about making that money. Yep. So, um, Martell <laughs> comes in. So, uh, Kimmy and Marcel, I mean, Kimmy and Maurice. Maurice come in first. Of course, they looking for Tisha and Marcel, and of course, they late. And then Martell come in. He was like, okay. But he said, um, everybody coming because they let him know everybody. the six coming back. Everybody, everybody. So, he said, ooh, let me move this chair over here, honey. I don't need to sit next to basically his ex-wife. Mm. So he moved the chair and everything. Then, you know, yeah, Mel yeah. come in, you know, all spry and spunky and stuff, and she happy. And um, and then the rest of them. And Kim is saying something about it. the world on the street. The reason why Mel's happy is because of what? Um, Kim didn't say Who that. Knows? She, 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 yeah, yeah, she said that. Yeah, she, said, she got a man. She got a new boo. Shantae's got a man. Mel got a man. Good for her. Yeah. Good for her. Good for her. And he's so good to me. That's what they say, word on the street. But Mel said, why is y'all trying to worry about my business? Marcia said, why is y'all trying to worry about who I date? That's because y'all came on this show married. And people want to know, do y'all got somebody so y'all can just pull the pressure <laughs> off of each other and leave each other alone? Do y'all yeah. got somebody? But of course, honey, if y'all not going to add him on the show, then, you know, we we we're trying to see what we're going to do because uh, y'all need some excitement or something because this just ain't giving. So um, anyway, let's see. Um, <laughs> Letitia is presenting uh to them what she wants to get them involved in at the black expo i really didn't understand it i i really didn't <laughs> understand none of it to be honest with you all i understood the only thing i understood was that mel said i gotta get paid Basically. that's the only thing i understood and, and but let uh, me see, let me do it like this Miss <clears throat> mel Tisha, that's a good idea. I like it. You know, I think you should keep the name, but uh, we need to talk about a fee. A fee? Yeah, um, definitely. We need to talk about a fee. Is there a fee in the um the price? Is there you know, you know, fee for who? Fee for 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 y'all? Oh, oh, we need to. Oh, we didn't talk about you know y'all getting paid and then like that. We 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 need to probably go back and do that. Oh. Marcel basically said, you know what. Y'all, you was y'all gonna do it out of the goodwill of your heart. That's the only thing we respected for. We weren't gonna pay nobody. If you don't want to be here, you ain't gotta be here. And, uh, and maybe that's what Marcel and, and T was thinking. Everybody was gonna just get back on board. But times have changed now. Yep. You no, know, people are doing different things, and their time is valuable to them. Now. Yep. And so, uh, hey, and I the, get it. And um, Mel also was talking about, you know, okay, well, you know, what about your social media posts? Are we going to give it social media posts? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, Mel, we, we may not be able to afford you, girl. <laughs> we may not be able to afford you. And so Mel was just like, well, I'm just saying, you know, we got to look at all avenues. And so Kimmy was saying, so I'm with Mel on that. So, you know, are we going to, you know, get paid? Is there, you know, this monetary, I mean, you know, monetize, you know, event or something like that? You just expect us to show up for free. And of course, like you said, Marcel yeah, said that. Like, hey, man, y'all, hey, y'all, we were expecting y'all to do it out of the goodness of your heart, but you don't have to be here if you want to. And Marcel was so adamant about pouring his uh, chocolate in the bottle to, to toast. I'm trying to figure what y'all trying to toast to. That's man? what Kim said. Okay, well, he, what are we toasting for? Because uh -huh. I still don't have a clear understanding of what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Marcel, man, buck that. We're going to toast this job. Toast, clank, 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 clank. I gotta, look, I gotta get my promotion on in this uh, this scene right here, so let the people not forget about the chocolate yeah, box. So man. let's go and get this out. So Kim was like, I still don't understand. So I'm with, hey, I have to be with what is right. When y'all first got started, y'all probably can do free events. Y'all can go here free, but y'all do have a, a a big follow, well, a following. I don't know how big it is, but you know, you do have a following. Y'all got social media posts. Y'all got people that, you know, want to take pictures with you, all that stuff or whatever. So yeah, it got to be some monetary or, or compensated in some kind of way, you know, for them. Now who asked, I know Marcel and Martel, they was whispering, 
like, I don't know how much y'all feel. Oh, they were talking about me. Yeah, yeah I know. Who said, who, who asked the question? Was it Martel or Marceau? Oh, what? Well, they Martel. Talking, Martel. Martel asked that. Okay. He, he whispered to Marceau. Yeah. And, and Mel said, don't be worried about how much my fee is. And uh, I think Mel said she's going to get her management team to, you know, contact them and all that stuff, whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, but yeah, it is what it is, honey. They on a different page, honey. They <laughs> is not season one people no more. They wow. season whatever they is now. Yeah, you got people doing events, concerts. Yeah. You got people doing books on other shows. You know, doing seminars. So it's a different ball game now. You know, so I, you know, I think T and Marceau are gonna have to understand. You know, the good old boys and the good old girls from back in the day. It's different. And then to me, y'all relationships is not copacetic like right. that anyway. So if for a good friend, you probably do it for free. But now y'all is co-workers mm -hmm. and, and um y'all trying to work in this business thing. So yeah. And um yeah, man ain't finna do that after them puppets came on spot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's not finna do it for no well, free no my, more. My best <laughs> my best advice to Marcel and T. Y'all want people to do it for free. I was, I was, I was gonna say reach out to Destiny, but she might charge you too. Y'all can contact us. We'll do no, it for free, child. Mm -mm. No, we charge too. Yeah, we charge child. too. That's right. I leave, man. You try to sell it off for free, man. That's right. you, come that's on, man. Yeah. We would have to deal with the melamine. Say so y'all would yeah. have to pay us. And get and then, security <laughs> and then give us a bodyguard. <laughs> And then what they call it, pain and suffering, because yeah. they gonna try to come for us and all that stuff. So, um, Jeez, but yeah, so I get it. I promise you, I get it. So yeah, everything is different. It's not <laughs> season one people no more. So yeah, everybody doing their own thing, and you know they getting paid to do their thing. But I would be like, hey, charge the people that's coming, mm -hmm. and then yeah, you, you know, still, you can yeah, pay, pay uh, the fees out to the people, I mean to the to the OG6. But then they will have to work really, really hard to get people to come and pay in Huntsville. I know they got people all over, but I'm just saying Huntsville. Yeah. 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 I think, uh, I don't know. You know, I think people will come, you know, especially you have Martel and Mel there. They'll come. Oh, yeah. They'll come. Yeah. They have, you know, some other people on the side, you know. And Miss Miss Wonder there, I almost did. I know, I know they come. Miss Wonder was there. Don't say the name, child. We ain't heard her name, so don't say her name, honey. Maybe these that's folks going to get stirred up. Maybe that's the reason why the show is kind of dry. Could it be? It's just, it's, it's just ironic. It's, it's, it's a coincidence that she is, she's on, on this season and the ratings has gone down. The ratings has gone down somewhat, so um, is, is that a coincidence? The season, it just started. Yeah, but three, four, four, yeah, but three How seasons. you know she's going to be on the whole so not gonna I'm be just saying, okay, let me rephrase so that. So far, she's not on there, and so far the ratings have been down so far compared to last season. I'm going down. So, so yeah, it's going down. But anyway, on that note, child, we trying to the ratings ain't long. going down. What well, yeah, I see? Bell was on there. The ratings they get one million views every episode because she's on there. <laughs> okay, so on that note, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Don't forget to. As we say at the end of every video, don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. I was put God first. Deuces. Hey! I was put